When it comes to hideout crafts, finding the best ones to make as much money as possible is sometimes tricky. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the ultimate crafts to make the most money. Stick around and let's get into it. Oh, and to help you guys out, I have put timestamps in the description if you'd like to navigate around the video. Anyways, let's start with the first station, the workbench. And if I miss any crafts that are super good, please make sure to let me know in the comments since prices are changing all the time. Now, the workbench has a lot of crafts to sift through, but I'm going to start with an easy one that any level of station can craft. The main craft that I would recommend is going to be the two power cables into eight wires. This is a super common craft at the beginning of wipe, but is still pretty profitable so far in the wipe, with each cable costing around 20k and each wire selling for around 10 to 13k each. The other craft I'd recommend at level 1 is going to be the DVD drive for two PCBs. If you buy the drive for around 15k, then you'll be able to list the circuit boards for around 15k each once they're crafted, meaning you'll make around 15k profit. Now let's move on to some higher tier crafts. To make two green gunpowder, you can craft this with two M67 grenades and an M18 smoke grenade. Now exactly how much money you can make from this does depend on if you're able to purchase the M67 grenades from Peacekeeper or not. If you can, you'll be able to craft the gunpowders for roughly 30k and sell them for around 70k. Now, if you can't buy them outright from Trader, you are going to probably have to pay around 10k more to craft them, depending on what the prices are like on the flea market. So your profit margins might be slightly lower. And for the final workbench craft that I think is really good is the 180 rounds of rip ammo. For one red gunpowder and four wires, which you could also craft beforehand to make slightly more money, you're going to spend around 65k rubles. And if you sell the rip ammo for at least 700 rubles around, but ideally more, since the price does sometimes climb above 900 rubles around, this is going to make you quite a bit of money, somewhere in the range of 70 to 100k in profit depending on what you sell it for. Now let's talk about the next station, the lavatory. So starting with a guaranteed money craft, let's look at the five ox bleach. You'll get these bleaches for a sodium, an alkali cleaner, and a soap, totaling around 45k to craft and about 65k to sell. So you'll be making around 20k profit if you can get your components under 15k each and sell the bleaches for around 13k or more. It is worth noting that sometimes bleach does fall to around 10k, so you might make a little bit less profit, but I would generally just hoard until they go up in price and sell a big batch all at once. Now, the lavatory does get somewhat more complicated for the higher tier crafts, as the main crafts to make profit depends on the style of fuel you're using. Within the lavatory, you can craft both magazine boxes and grenade cases. Now, if you were to just buy the fuel outright and use it while full, neither of these crafts would be remotely profitable. However, if you only craft these using the empty fuel cans that you've already used, you will be able to make a good chunk of profit for each of these crafts, if you can get the bolts for under 25k and the nuts for under 15k. Now, you really have to consider here that while these crafts utilize already consumed fuel cans, if you don't have that fuel powering things like the water collector, then you won't really have paid off the fuel. To keep going on that point, we should probably discuss the water collector and the booze generator as well. Now, when you insert a water filter into the level 3 water collector, you're going to begin generating a super water. These filters currently cost around 60 to 80k and can generally craft 1.5 super waters out of one filter. Now, this number will increase as your hideout management goes up, and for example, my current skill lets me get 2 out of 1 filter. Now, if you wanted to, you could simply just sell the super water, which goes for around 120k on the flea market, which will pay for the filter and pay off some of your fuel, which I mentioned was important for lavatory crafts. You could also use that water and two sugars to craft a moonshine, which if you consider the filter price, you'll be spending around 50k for the super water and around 120k for the sugars. So 160 to 170k for a moonshine, which can then be sold for 250k. Each of these are totally reasonable options, but I typically just use the moonshine in my scav case, which ultimately means that I'm just gambling away my savings. We skipped the intel center, so let's go back and discuss that quickly. This station is pretty straightforward and doesn't really have anything crazy in it. I currently alternate between crafting three flash drives and the two VPXs. For flash drives, ideally you want to get the GPXs under 50k, the SSDs for 35k or less, and the standard G-Phone for about 15k or less. That will bring you to around 100k to craft, and you can generally sell the flash drives for roughly 60 to 65k each on the flea market. It is also worth noting you can turn three flash drives into Jaeger for a dog tag case, which in past wipes has sold the therapist for around 200k. But I haven't actually confirmed that this wipe, and please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. 
but if the price is around 200k still, it will make you a little bit more money to do that. Now, for the two VPXs, these are going to be sold directly to Therapist. I find that she buys them for around 95 to 96k, and with the flea market tax to list them, you generally make more money selling to her. Now, for the components, try to get the RAM for under 10k, the SSDs for under 35k, and under 15k for the G phones. Overall, you'll pay around 130k and make roughly 70k profit. The downside of this station is that the items do take quite a while to craft, but I kind of just consider it like a passive income thing, sort of like the Bitcoin farm, which I'm not exactly going to discuss in this video, but if you are interested, you can check out this video I made about it a few months ago if you'd like to know more. Again, it is a bit of an older video, but the information is still accurate as of the making of this video. Let's move on to the scav case. Now, I know this isn't exactly a station where you can craft items, but I do think that it's worth talking about. Now, when it comes to using the scav case, the three options I'd recommend using is either the Moonshine, the Intel folder, or the 95k option. Generally, I alternate between Moonshine and Intel, since I do craft Moonshines regularly, but recently I've been getting better items from Intel. The station is unfortunately just in-game gambling for the most part, but if you do have some money to spare, you can get super good items like Red Rebels, Green, Blue, Violet, and other Color Labs cards, tank batteries, and many task items. It's definitely my favorite station, since I never know what I'm going to get. I should briefly touch on the nutrition unit, but I am going to be upfront and say that I do not use this unit to craft things. It does have things like Wilston cigarettes or small cans of Tashankas for your tasks, but honestly overall this station is not profitable anymore. The one craft I have been able to get a small amount of profit from was this two coffee craft. It uses one blue gunpowder and one can of beans, and if you can get the blue gunpowder for around 13k or less and the coffee for 30k or less, then you can go on to sell the coffee for around 26k or more. You can make a very small amount of profit, but honestly I can very rarely make any money from this, and like I said, I don't use it at all. And to finish up, let's talk about the med station. There are a few crafts here that are somewhat profitable, but nothing extremely crazy. Let's start with the 3 meds craft. Ideally, buy your Augmentin for 15k or less, the Bandage for 3k, and your AI2 for 5k. You'll be able to sell each pile of meds for around 14k each. Now, the only other craft I'd bother with is this SJ6 stim. For an SJ1 stim, two meds, one knackle, and a bottle of vitamins, all of which will run you around 85k, you'll craft two SJ6s, which generally sell for roughly 65 to 70k each, meaning you'll make around 60k from that craft. Like I mentioned in the three med craft previously, if you buy each component as low as possible, you should ideally craft your meds, then use them in the SJ6 craft to make the absolute most profit you can. But honestly, even buying these standard flea market prices, you'll still make quite a bit of money. I think that brings us to the end. Let me know if you like this longer style of videos in the comments. And now, check out this video about how to make two times more money in your raids. Or this one, about some sweet budget loadouts. If you watched this far, I really truly appreciate your time, and hey, why not subscribe since you're still here. Thanks again for watching, hope to see you again soon, and of course I hope you have an awesome day as well.